It's gonna be one of the tougher videos I've had to make. Hello again. Well, today's the 21st of January, 2016. That's right, it's always important when you're starting a new video to say something that is true before going to all of the lies and bullshit. You don't want to just go straight to the lies and bullshit. So say the date so that at least something in your video is true. You know how they chosen one, Barack Hussein Obama, huh? Uh, that would be Buffy and Summers, I believe. He's on this global warming pitch of his. Along with all of the world scientists. But anyway, uh, he might want to turn on the TV and go to a weather channel and see what's happening to the East Coast over the next three or four days. That would be the Nor'easter, or some people are actually calling it the More Easter, that is due to hit the East Coast sometime afternoon or noon of Friday. The storm is expected to dump a hell of a lot of snow on the United States East Coast. They're going to experience a storm of clatomist proportion. Clatomistic proportion, they've never had a storm like this from what's been reported. Yes, if you warm the ocean and the atmosphere anomalously, you will get bigger, greater storm events, including snowstorms. Something President Obama has absolutely no control over, by the way. So you sort of wonder how this global warming actually works, you know what I mean? No one has to wonder, one can study it. I know, crazy me. You think that things that sort of heat up? Yes, warm the oceans anomalously. They will evaporate more. When the atmosphere is warmed anomalously, it will hold more water vapor. What happens when that precipitates out? You get bigger, stronger, more intense storms. When that happens in the winter time, you get more snow. They're expecting between, I don't know, quarter to half inch of ice throughout much of the Midwest. Uh, no. They are expecting anywhere from 8 inches of snow to 30 inches of snow starting afternoon or noon Friday and going until Sunday. If anybody out there is actually interested in the numbers, a link down here in my crotch where you can take a look. Real simple. And ice. Or the Mideast. Or the Mid Plains. It's going to get nasty. Yes, in part due to human caused warming of the climate. And then you got Obama giving away literally billions of dollars to all kinds of countries that are on his global warming campaign. Why? Because they're getting billions of dollars. That's why. Uh, no. United States is not giving countries billions of dollars to mitigate against and adapt to human-caused climate change. It damn well should be, but it is not. Only a few million dollars, unfortunately, every year is being given by the United States to countries that have not caused the problem. The United States is one of the three top contributors to human-caused climate change. We therefore owe it to the rest of the planet to help them fight and mitigate against climate change. We're not doing that, and that is a goddamn shame. The whole thing's a joke. Al Gore kicked it off. Al Gore. Joseph Fourier, does that ring a bell? 1824 is Al Gore, more than 200 years old. Just saying. And Obama's running with it another way to destroy the American economy. I'm sorry. <coughs> I'm all choked up here. Uh, 
That was George Bush trying to do that? Uh, if President Obama wanted to destroy the United States economy, why has it been improving steadily for the past seven years? Talk about the worst villain ever! Everything he's been doing to destroy the economy has been improving it. <sighs> it's another thing President Obama has fucked up trying to destroy the economy and it's not working! <laughs> You think not? You're not thinking. He said it, not me. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it.